I, I am I am optimistic, but I am also realistic. I understand what it is Donald Trump is capable of. I think I understood what Donald Trump was capable of before, frankly, a lot of the media understood what Donald Trump was capable of, uh, yourself excluded. You have done a real service in educating your audience, and it is something we, we need everyone right now in the next 40, 49 days to educate their audience about these threats, what it is that, that the secretaries of state are up against. Um, but, but here's the thing. The secretaries of state do have uh, steeled backbones. The lawyers have steeled backbones. The Democratic Party has steeled backbones. We are not going to surrender our country to the threats and intimidation of Donald Trump and his supporters. We are not going to let the mobs that will that formed January 6th, but which were present before January 6th in places like Detroit and, and in Philadelphia, uh, trying to intimidate election officials in Georgia and in Arizona. We're not going to let them affect the outcome of this election. And at the end of the day, Donald Trump is counting on people to give up. He is counting on the cynics to win. He is counting on people to say, you know what, I don't want to be part of this. But here is the thing. Everyone listening needs to make sure they are registered to vote, they have a plan to vote, and they vote. And if everyone does that, Kamala Harris and the Democrats will win. Back in the war room uh, with Stephen K. Bannon. Uh, I forgot to open the show in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, we need to keep the faith. Uh, it's easy to get cynical. Uh, we got Gina coming on in a minute, but I, I just want to respond uh, to Mark Elias there, right? He's a, Steve's always, you know, following him. Where, this guy's all over the place, wreaking havoc uh, and messaging like crazy on this threats to the United States of America and what Trump is capable of, et cetera. And so, you know, Mark, I mean, you're a genius, you know, political scientist, wizard of some sort. But I, I'm just a humble, you know, Presbyterian economist type guy. And uh, it seems to me like there's an easy solution and a way to navigate who's telling the truth on all these things. Let's just have paper ballots, right? Just let's have a paper ballot system across the country and uh, count the votes. Uh, make sure everyone matches the state uh, ballot uh, boxes. And then you got a fair election. And then all this fear, you're so nervous and anxious. I don't, Mark, I don't understand the anxiety. It's very, let's just have an honest election. And then there's no problem. Uh, I think Gina Swoboda is going to come on. There's a couple issues causing some anxiety out in Arizona. There shouldn't be. You got to keep the faith. Uh, when things are looking rough, uh, that's when God comes into play. Uh, when David was fighting Goliath, they didn't say, I just got three little stones here. He said, I believe in God Almighty, and things are going to turn right here. Uh, and he made them turn right there. That's the key. You got to make it turn. So, Gina, fire away. What do you got for us today? Amen. Thank you, Dave. With God, all things are possible. You know, Mark Elias also it. considers me a threat, so I'm in. I'm in good company. Uh, when he says <laughs> he's sure. with Donald Trump, yeah, he's afraid of nerdy election <laughs> right. nerd Gina. Um, right. He's the gift that keeps on giving because we're going to win. Me for me, a vote of two at SCOTUS. Uh, it, it'll probably by, by the time we appeal to the Ninth Circuit, we'll be past this election. But God's got us. The voters have got us. I agree with you. Everybody needs to have a plan to vote. Uh, the people that are kind of um, uh, talking about election officials being intimidated, like Mark Elias, uh, are really trying to obstruct transparency. And everybody knows that that's what Mark is doing. Uh, yeah, anyone yeah. Who, who makes a, a threat, you know, you if, if you're threatening violence to someone, you've committed a crime and then you should be prosecuted. And hopefully Kamala or a George Soros prosecutor is not the prosecutor. And then you'll actually serve time in jail and then you'll be less of a threat to the rest of society. Uh, but the rest of us that are just seeking transparency, to which we are absolutely entitled, which is a bedrock uh, of the foundation of the system of this country. Um, yeah, we're going to continue to advocate for transparency. And what's happening in Arizona right now on the voter roll. Dave is an example of why we need transparency. So there was a glitch. You know, we talked a little bit about this yesterday on Battleground. There was a glitch in about 98,000 voters who, to be clear, everybody, they had a driver's license before October 1996. Right. So we're not talking about people that, you know, arrived as newcomers, the new colloquialism for illegal aliens in the country. Uh, these are people that right. have been here right. since before October 96. Um, they may or may not have provided citizenship. We can't tell because of this error in the motor vehicle database. The ballots go out today in Arizona to the military overseas. 
for Maricopa. The ballot, you know, orders are have to be in in uh, next week to the printer, and we start early voting in 20 days. So we're within safe harbor under NVRA. You can't make changes, routine changes to the voter list. SCOTUS has in the past said you can't try to change processes this close to the election. That's the Purcell principle. At the end of the day, the current state of federal law is that all of these voters are going to get a federal ballot no matter what we do. Okay. The question before us in Arizona is, am I going to fight to stop them from getting the full ballot that they're already getting? The full ballot would include the abortion amendment the horrible, horrible abortion amendment, the ranked choice voting, which will destroy Arizona so that you know we, we don't get a, a, a true um, election after this. And the answer is no. I'm, and I'm not going to deprive uh, these 98,000 people that have been uh, in the system since before October of 1996 from voting in local races, uh, 36,000 of whom happen to be Republicans between the ages of 40 and 60. Uh, so no, we're not going to do that. Um, we are going to continue right. to fight. To, to maintain uh, the voter rolls. You know, I do that, Dave, when I'm not the, the chair of the Republican Party of Arizona. Uh, I'm the executive director of Voter Reference Foundation, and we have a website, voteref, V-O-T-E-R-E-F dot -E -E com. And I've got 34 state voter rolls published there. And I update them every month so that the public can do oversight of the voter rolls. Find the wow. house on your block that's a single family house and look at it. Are there 55 people registered there? You might want to report that to your local county registrar. So we do that work every day. The party does that work. You know, the, the RNC, the campaign, they're, they're amazing grassroots activists. This is something we fight for every day. But the facts of the matter right. are, as I'm sitting here, ballots are going out to the military tomorrow. I'm not going to do anything to interfere with that process. I'm too close to right. the election. Right. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought you were going to go there. The mail-in vote uh, status. What's uh, what's the breaking news in Arizona on the mail-in? Yeah. So um, October 9th uh, is when those ballots are going to go in the mail to folks. I encourage everybody to quote Mark Elias. Uh, uh, everyone have a plan and register by October 7th in Arizona and you're going to get those ballots in the mail. And what we really need right now we really need people to vote early because if something, something, some shenanigan, some equipment yeah, failure, yeah, yeah. and you will recall Maricopa in 22, happens on election day, you know, then we're done. If all of our people wait and hit and drop off the mail ballot on election day, it's going to cause a delay. Right. And when, as you know, Dave, when you when Republicans go into a long extended count, uh, we lose. Right. And so, you know, Adam Laxalt would be the senator in Nevada right now had they not had a snowstorm in Washoe on Election Day. Right. So uh, yeah. people need to get out there. You can track the ballot and you can get get you know, you can sign up for ballot tracks and it'll tell you we received your ballot. We signature verified your ballot. Your ballot's been counted. Um, this is the system I have. So this is the system I'm going to work with. But the order for Good. these ninety eight thousand ballots. OK, the order to get those mail ballot printed is due next week. My county recorders cannot manually check 98,000 people in a database they don't have access to. We, we are suing to get them access to the database. But yeah, yeah, yeah. say, say go, go, go over yeah. this again, because <clears throat> all of these things, uh, this is what the SAVE Act is all about, too, the discrepancy right. between federal law, illegals can't vote. Uh, and But the states don't have to give up their voter rolls. They don't have to investigate. So what's the status of that now uh, in Arizona? About a minute and a half to go. Thank you, Dave. So my legislature passed a bill, two or three bills that require the recorders to check the DHS database, to check NAPHSIS, which, which NAFSIS, which checks identification. They don't have access to those databases. And my secretary of state, Fontes, fought us all the way blocked us from getting those databases implemented and we're in court. So we're in the Ninth Circuit right now on these these statutes that are law in Arizona, but we have been uh, prevented and obstructed from implementing them. So until we lose at the Ninth Circus uh, and then, there, you know, hope springs eternal, when we get to SCOTUS, we're going to win. OK, but between now and then we need to work with what we have and it's got to be too big to rig. And I need everybody to bring five people Bring five people. They they might complain about the current situation, but you will be shocked how many people you know that aren't registered. They can go get registered right now at Arizona.vote. Have them have them come and vote. 
I'll bring, I'll pull up in yep. a Scooby van. I'll drive him to the polls. Good. Hey, Gina, well, you're, you're boots on the ground, and we thank you uh, for all the hard work you're doing. Uh, give us a little hope. I'm sure you're in conversations around the country. Uh, what, what's the energy level uh, on our side of the football uh, going into this thing with 50 days to go? What are you feeling? Is, is it too big to rig, et cetera, as the phrase goes? Uh, and uh, give the posse some info. About 30 seconds to go. It is off the charts, guys. It is off the charts. I've never seen it like this. I, I was on the ground in 20. Wow. I was on the ground in 22. It is off the wow. charts. We're winning. We're going to run through the tape. Fight like you're the third monkey boarding Noah's Ark. And, brother, it's starting to rain. <laughs> We're bringing it home. Right. God's got this. There we go. Noah's Ark metaphors coming from Gina Swoboda. No wonder you're a crowd favorite. Thanks for being with us. God bless you.